uh, Emmanuel Noizet or Eman from Eman's Movie Reviews out here in Chicago. Kingsley, how are you doing today? I'm really good, man. How you doing? Awesome. Awesome. I'm all right. I'm all right. Um, and welcome to the MCU, first Thank and you. foremost. Um, so let's kick it off. Who is Gravik and why is he going to be the biggest, baddest villain than Thanos? Why is he going to be? Is he going to be? I guess that's the question, really. Uh, mm -hmm. I think as the episodes go on, you get to learn a, a, a bunch more about him. So I don't want to give too much away, but there's definitely there's a long history between him and, and, and Talos and him and between Gravik and, and, and Nick and Gravik and Talos. Um, yeah, I think at the start of the series, we meet a guy who has got to a point where his rage towards those two leaders has like reached the, like a, a tipping point. And um, there's something about the hypocrisy of those two that I think really enrages him and that uh, is motivating him. I think on one level, he's a guy who doesn't trust anyone at this point. Uh, once upon a time he did, but now he doesn't. And um, yeah, my feeling was that he was uh, he was using he was using his people as a way of trying to like uh, his feelings to want to inflict like pain and chaos as Nick and Talos experienced that as it's happening. That, that, that was all the stuff that was like clear in, in the pilot for me. I was like, it's a guy who's operating on a level that's a little bit more than what he's saying. You know, There's, there has to be something else going on underneath um, that's more than my people, your people. You know, you did us wrong and I, it, like it was more than that. This is like, it was deeply personal. Um, and that to me just it made it, it made it more interesting. And like, it was about trying to build a character that like held that tension, you know, it was more satisfying for the audience if Nick really has someone to come up against, you know? Yeah. W was there like a specific aspect of Gravik that you really liked exploring? Yeah, I, I think the word hypocrisy was something that kept coming up in like my original notes. I was like, what's, 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 what's vexing this guy? Like, what is it? It's the, it's the hypocrisy of, of all of those false promises. And, um, and I think Talos's weakness, you know, I think he sees them both as weak and, and pathetic. And uh, yeah, and, and just sort of imaginatively going like, you know, what did he see on Skrullos or, you know, the, wherever they came from? Like, what was that war? How much trauma has he seen? Like, how much, how much destruction and chaos has he, like, had to experience as a child, you know, and then coming to Earth? Like, how was he let down? Like, you know, like, where was, where's this behavior coming from? You know, to, to, want, it's want, to want to blow something up is one thing. To want to blow something up where there are innocent people is another thing. And then to want Nick and Talos to experience that as it's happening, to want them to see him do it as it's happening is another thing. So it was just trying to build a kind of, uh, th that kind of complexity. Uh, I, that was what was felt interesting to me, you know? And the hope was that you do that or you, you try and dig a little bit deeper that he will, he will feel more grounded, that we will understand like what his motivations are and um, if necessarily have to agree with what he's doing, but like definitely understand why he's doing what he's doing. And then the fun part was getting to explore how you do that behavior, you know, like who are these guys? Like what examples can like I draw from and, you know, uh, did you see zero, zero, zero? I did. Do you see, you know, Manuel? Yeah. That guy who's running that thing. I was watching that a lot of the time, and I, I, I really, that uh, was such a magnetic performance. Like I, I, what that dude did with that role, um, and I was watch. I watched it before, and and I, he kept popping up. You know, mm. in my mind, I was like, there's something similar about this. That how desensitized he was to like violence, and how mm. he was able to like what he does in that scene on the coach when they take all those people off and it's just cold, like to go into a room and suck all the air out of it and to not mm -hmm. say very much, but to, to feel the presence of someone without them having to speak. I was like, 
creatively, I think this is going to be best for the show. Like, I was like, as soon as he becomes a kind of self-righteous anti-hero, it just wasn't interesting. It didn't feel, didn't feel right. Um, you want to create a character where you want Nick Fury to put this motherfucker down. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, listen, so that, that was the intention. definitely nailed that energy 100%. Um, and I've definitely, I'm enjoying the show so far. Um, but thank you so, so much for your time, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. If you're new here and you like what you see, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out the next time I drop a video. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all. And until next time, I'll see you all later.